the Creator put all of the creation under our hands. We are creating with Him the creation every moment of our life. When you have good thoughts, you're creating good things. When you have negative thoughts, you're creating negative things. We must pull ourselves all of the time to the good. To do good, to think good, to hope for good, to be good. In every moment that you will reveal the godliness, the kindness, the loving kindness of the Creator, you will pull down the light of mercy that will wash and purify all the creation. So if there is just a simple person that doesn't have a clue about God, he is just that smiling person that always says hello to everyone and helps all of the old people to carry their bags. And he's just a friendly person. And when someone needs charity, he's the first one to look and to find coins and to give every... And you don't know what he's doing. The verse is saying, Tzedakat atzil mimavet. Charity will save from death, right? Okay, now if I take a, take a penny and I'll give it to the charity box for Tzedakah, Will it be count as tzedakah in heaven? Will they say, Dror Moshe ben Emanuela gave charity, now I gave it? What they will say in heaven? They can say also he was cheap, great. <laughs> but also they will have to say, they will have to admit that it was charity. I just gave it its charity. Small one, but charity. So on charity, what is written? That it will save from death. Tzedakah tatzil mimavet. Great. So maybe... It won't save the life of the chief rabbi, the biggest righteous man of the generation. But if it will save the life of a squirrel to be run by a truck, so is it worthy? If it will save the life of a butterfly that will not going to be squished in a, in a, in a, on, a, on a car uh, windshield, is it worthy? One butterfly, a, 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 an orange one in Miami. Okay, it's worthy? Yes, it's worthy. Why is it worthy? Because there is life over there. And that penny is worth so much. And you're not aware to that. You don't understand what Hashem is doing with you. When you keep Shabbat, whoa, that's huge. When you say Shakol on drinks, when you wash your hands in the morning, when you do whatever you do, you can never tell how much it counts in the eyes of heaven. And that's real faith. To understand that everything is important and precious in the eyes of Hashem, even your hobbies, even your talents, even the gifts that He gave you, even your desire for certain things. If God decided to pleasure you through music, so how can you think in the world that maybe there is something wrong with it? There is no pleasure in this world unless the Creator decided to pleasure you, to satisfy you. He is sending His messengers, His holy angels to satisfy you. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all His, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.